Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Toon Series 4. And number 29. So I'm just in woo, old Athens at the minute, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of uh, size reduction there and the uh, flaky camera. And it's just a bit of a quick run through uh, day uh, episode, to be honest with you. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, first up on the hit list is Spaced Out is in Newland. Let's see which one we get. Yes, the graphics are looking, well, satisfactory, I would say. So, there is that. Right, let's talk to the man of the scratch. Okay. Oh, nice. We've got this one, which is a little easier in that it's not overly long-winded. However, a couple of the ones today might be. Come over here. Over here. Yes, got the sneak. Right. And our favourite, Medic, let's give you the works. And let's slow that healing down a bit. Oh, Doctor. There we go. No, no healing for you today. Yeah, I spent nearly an hour in Inferno this morning, which was uh, pretty annoying. For some reason, stuff just did not want to drop. I was looking for a doja. There was quite a few other people there. Um, and they were there for an equally long amount of time. Normally it's pretty fast, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty tough going. When you, you just want to get it done, basically. All right, okay. And now the main event. Come here. Yes, over here, away from the other mobs. That's the way. And I think we shall do some debuffing. Indeed, we will. Down you go. Yes, you do. Right, okay. Now, hopefully, yep, yeah, the universe is in fact working. Right, okay. Uh, just take thing away. There we go. Goodbye. That's GTFO. I don't know why my map always does that. Never mind, not to worry. We've also got, uh, oh, the Freelancers is running. It updated when I handed in a doja. No idea why. We've also got Scooplet Outbreak and of course, talk to Warden Stains. So let's go and talk to the Warden, see how he's doing. So we will be wanting a bit of West Athen. And there we go. Yeah, it's a bit sameish, guys, but that's the truth. You get to 220 and you've got research to get finished. It's kind of inferno and dailies, etc. Is kind of it, really. The current uh, extenuating one is this Alien Invasion, which is uh, pretty cool. A lot of AI for that. So we need to get that done at some point today. Uh, forgot to get it before rolling my dailies and if I had I would have rolled a city general one because that would have been better right now scoopler outbreak is miles away normally uh, I get a 
grid to there, but I thought it might be interesting to actually run it for a change. And the nearest place to there is actually wine. Long way away. But, you know, let's go for a ride. Why not? Let's take a look at Rubicar. We've got run speed. Why not? So I'm going to do that. Walk back. I've got to tell you guys, this purplish armor. Bleh. Not not digging it. I mean, if, if you guys like it, awesome. And personally, I think um, it, well, it's, you know, it's not magenta armor is magenta. And we've already got the stellar buff or the gauntlet buff. It's actually not called that at all. It's called coalescing energy cascade. But everyone just says blah, blah, blah thing. Okay, broken shores. Will we still be? Will it crash? Will it not? Oh, it's taking a long time. Oh, there we go. Well, we're still here. Let's see if we crash when we get to wine. Quite possibly. Ooh, long zoning again. No, we're still here. Amazing. It, it's generally just with the bloody wampers for me. Right, we want to go a long ways north. Yes, we do. Right through this area and into the next which is a fairly long kind of hike now i've been tweaking my settings a little bit just messing around with them not not massively but you know like view distance 100 percent versus oh there you go you flying in mist but i don't actually get more than one or two frames different but I, the reason I have it low is you can see like the terrain there looks a bit mm, not amazing. But if you just there about 90-ish, 88 seems to be the sweet spot for me. It's going to be different for different people. But it kind of looks fogged out. It's like you're getting a um, bit of an effect there. You know, like um, depth of field, although it's not actually depth of field it just kind of feels a bit like it is now scooplets are not a massive problem for that nemra alts of nem 52 alt addicted much my god that's a lot it's pretty active on all of them as well oh yeah i've been making some driver tweaks as well plus the emb thing i'm messing around with so i am slightly paranoid about actually Zoning. Um, it, it, it's proving to be pretty stable. There's a few areas that are a little bit snaggy, um, like suddenly facing a slightly different way. In. Um, no, got a base. Uh, yeah, facing um, toward the jump off point in Inferno seems to eat up frames. Drill Island. What else do we go past? Enigma Island, Agent Lamb. Let's let's do a flyby of some old haunts, eh? While, while we're about it, because otherwise, I mean, not a lot to tell on this. Drill Island, I remember this. I can't remember, is that where... Let's zoom in. Yeah, the, lo <laughs> the, uh, the lunatic is over there. He drops, um, well, candy cane, for one. Um, quite a few other bits and bobs as well the mobs on here are not mucking around though they are pretty tough i remember back in the day when he was introduced to the game which would have been pre shadowlands i'm pretty sure around the time of norton wars even possibly before then uh you would kind of meet up here bearing in mind max level 200 no shadow levels no research and then try and pull him to outside with you know a full team Nowadays, though, he's not that big a problem. That's the polymorphed lunatic. That's his placeholder. There you go. And then you've got these guys here. 212. And when you're only, what, level 200? They're big, scary mobs, trust me. And they will all aggro. There's a few other guys in here connected to various quests as well, and you can't 
fly out. You can see the ceiling rendering in there. We're just sort of evading them slightly. These guys. All aggressive, even though they're not that high level. Sepsis onus. Oh no! This is not good. I've been warped. Okay, wasn't planning on this. Okay. And you as well. You don't seem that rootable to me. I was going to do a little bit of a tour. Oh, snare you. I wasn't actually setting out to do this, but yeah. I could do with just rooting these guys. They're not rooting, though. Will they snare, maybe, then? Seem to be immune. Nope, nada. Oh. Not proving too problematic at the moment. The guy he spawns, though, believe you me, is definitely tougher. Keep this running on you. Maybe, can I debuff the... Yeah. Yeah, I can't really debuff their nano resist, so... Life is hard. Let's go for it. A bit of extra crit. Now, he's a placeholder. Cuter or Leguter or however the hell you want to pronounce it, that's the guy you actually want from this. Seem to remember him being a lot tougher, but then, you know, we didn't have what we have now. Which does make quite a big difference. I wanted to get to the inner rooms and go, hey, check this out. This is strange indeed. So you literally killed this guy to try and spawn a cuter. Quite often though, he didn't drop. I don't remember this guy having a warp capability, which is why pretty much you always pulled him outside. I was pretty sure you could root these guys as well, but not today. And that is my, yeah, it's my better route there. That, that kind of snares, as you've probably seen in previous episodes, a hell of a lot of stuff that's a lot higher level than these guys, even Inferno bosses, at least quest bosses. Now, in himself, I don't really think he drops much. Yeah, I was farming him for um, armor you can wear with grid armor. Team Beacon Warp, yeah, that'd be the one. Ah, oh, well, now he's out of the way, no more warping. Let's uh, whiz around and we can have a quick look at the interior room if you've never actually seen it. Quite interesting. Got the drill guys, etc. Trouble is, you see, with this being an actual island, it's a little more tricky <laughs> to get away from the boss. Or it used to be. There you go. Freaky little room, eh? With all kinds of weird stuff. I'm not sure if anything useful spawns in here. Pain Lord. You group at least. Yeah, and these guys, little typhoid omus 125. Yeah, nasty little buggers. Somebody having a float around, but you can see where they got the idea for um, Hothians from, can't you? Yeah, they went a new creation, that's for sure. <laughs> that's for certain. So, yeah. Right. GTFO. I can't jump in my arm either. This this was not the best planned thing. I thought we'll just zoom in and have a quick look round while in the arm. It'll be fine, he said. There is another room on the other side, but there's not much going on in there. It is interesting though. Right, we may have got away with this. Let's just Yeah, nice, right, okay. GTFO. After you take him down, you wait on the spawn. See which guy you get. 
and hope that you get Leguta. And sort of pull him down towards the end here. Out the way of those things, who can be fairly problematic. But never mind. Now the other little island boss is there, Special Agent Lamb. Do you know, I don't think I've even been to that place in three or four years, to be quite honest. Seems to be permanently stuck at 30 frames while I'm here. Um, GPU clock keeps clocking down in certain areas. And mind you, if I go down here, yeah, it boosts back up because it's having to do stuff and the frame rate starts creeping up even though the card is working harder and doing more. I need, uh, someone said GPU tweak uh, is quite useful for locking a card at full speed. Because um, normally, they even if you put it on max performance, the card is going, well, I'm not really being asked to do much. Yeah, right now, it's gone back down to 979. I have it capped at uh, 11.50 just to keep the card fans quiet and it's certainly enough for most games that couple of about 50 megahertz might bag you a couple more frames per second in a benchmark but real world performance not so much now where was the way in here I can see the interior map wasn't there a landing spot somewhere I can't remember you know I remember you, if you you had to bloody swim if you didn't have a yarn. That I remember. That wasn't fun. No. I don't think you can fly in, can you? No, it's got an invisible ceiling. No, oh, there we go. Yeah, you have to come in here. Kind of fight your way through. I mean, the twigs weren't too bad. And then make your way along. If you couldn't get up here, you had to run the whole length. But once you're in, you're in. It's like an invisible dome up here. Those guys in Lagro as well. And then a diner. I can't remember what you had to do to get it spawned. Lamb's apprentice. Yeah, you had to take her down. Um and then agent, special agent lamb would spawn and you'd get a load of little mini agent lambs all around here. I am not going to be doing that right now. No, we're not. That's a raid. I don't, uh, that's like trying to solo the mercs. Only a couple of classes can actually do it. But yeah, without a yarn, you, you had to run along there, around there, over the bridges. Just made it feel bigger and more interesting. That's another one of those interesting little places that no one ever really goes to anymore. Right, we're, we've definitely gotten sidetracked. Which was sort of the intent. I wanted to do something a little interesting. Um, oh, we should probably have gone the other way. Because we want to go north to get to our actual mission. Which is, let's face it, pretty mundane, I would say. Kill Scooplets. Yes, there you go. Team Beacon Warp. A bag full of those. Yeah, th there's certain armor parts you can actually wear while you are wearing uh, grid armor. And they drop from Locuta. I always feel like I'm going to say Locutus. Like, L Locutus of Borg. Oh, the Pest. Petticoat of the Pest. And other stuff. Yeah, that was all over here as well. The old diners. Yeah, they, they, they were always fun. Probably solo the pest now. I don't remember it ever being all that hard. Stink blob. Rot plague. Did you have to kill those two and then the pest would spawn? I can't remember. I remember being pretty scared of those at one time. We shall leave that, rather than faff around for a demonstration. There's also that little island there. I can't remember what was on that. Golem Island. I do remember there was a lot of um, crystals 
It was one of the few places at the time you could get the carbonium rocks to make nanocrystals. That's what I remember. And although this is flooded, um, some of the places in there you can actually uh, run. Of course, back then, swimming was dependent on your swimming skill. So let's have a look. Disabled. You see, I've got 300, which means I would swim at the same speed most people run at that. Talk to your brethren and gain there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. So it was just one of these random places that this stuff dropped. Got any on rock. Ooh, an un terror. I don't remember if there's anything interesting in the middle. Middle? 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 Middle. God. It's like my mouth is having a day off. So, yeah. Let's get on here. Kill these. And then, of course, we've got, once again, same old, same old. Oop, dock has run out. A bit of old flickering. Let's drop out of the elm. Look for little poofs of smoke around our feet. Gets hard in this sort of light, though. There we go. Use that and. Okay, and wait for the next one. I just run around the circuit a little bit. Seems fairly random to me. Nope. Trouble with all the auras and stuff running, it's difficult to see. Ah, oh, there you go. It varies. Shy scooplet, you will die. And again. Here we are. And again, quick as that, eh? Less than 10 seconds that time. I know, because that's what my aim shot's capped at. Uh, not usually that far off. Oop. That was a poof of smoke. You get the message as well. A thud is coming from below. There we go, we've got that one done. Right, so from here, be a bloody long way trying to get to Milky Way conventionally. Like, and nigh on impossible because we'd have to fly, well, through walls that can't be broken. So, yeah, we're going to use a beacon. Oh, and these guys drop um, trade skill parts. Didn't check them, but hey, no biggie. Right, so let's go kill El Prisoner yet again. Should we try the shortcut? It is quite buggy, so bear with me on this. This is one of those zones that you run through which is notoriously bad for crashing. We shall see. It can also get you flagged. Oh, you can see the longest road there. They used to have one that said Outpost 10-3, Southern Artery Valley. Let's see if we're in existence when we come back. Nope, and we're not in friendly territory at all. There you go, Elite Guard. Zoned back somehow. Don't know where I am now. Oh, I've come to here. To the ferry. Okay. Uh, let's go south. Away from wherever we just came from. Yeah, when it crashes, it's a total pain. Okay, I'm going to have to log out here and come back again. And we're back. And not in a friendly place. No, we're not. Managed to run back here. Let's risk it. Come on. 
it crashes again, it crashes again. I don't know how the hell I got back in the Wampa. Not being attacked though. Will it crash? Will it crash? Will it crash? No, it didn't crash. This is where we should have come out from. 20k. And... See, on the map it still says Outpost 10-3. So we are... On the old engine, that's fine. Never crashes there. But you do need to be quick, otherwise you're going to wind up flagging yourself. So, there is that. I always feel faster when I run along the ground, like so. Oh, there's a Carlita pet. That's a good pet, by the way. You get that one from, if I remember rightly, from the Penzan quest. We're actually running through the grass. Strange days indeed. All right, let's go and see how Mr. Disease is doing, if in fact he is up, because there's always that thing as well that he may not be. Yay, there he is. Pretty friendly. Wave. Hey, hi. Granny Doc. Oh, well, this gets quicker for you then, doesn't it? Okay, if you're not going to UBT, then I will. Just for the lols. And let's give you a crit buff. Like I said, this takes ages. The damage sucks. It does, it's never great on a dock. It's just a daft on a soldier, but yeah, there's always that. There we go, we've pulled aggro off. In and he was nearly halfway. Which kind of tells you how much damage docks do. It's well, it's it's the design of the class. It was always meant to be, you know, support. And, well, the kind of art. Uh, there was a time where docks had fairly good damage, where everyone was using shotguns. I remember particularly a guy called Stropver was his character's name, and he had an MA dock. But at the time, the highest MA buff, I think, was MA skill buff, was... Um, Four fists of Kali or something, and you could actually get it. So, ooh, dodgy, eh? There we go. You can have that, and you can have that, and also you can have a bit of that. Ooh, you're resisting me. There you go. Have have all the debuffs. Managed to pull that off. So, yeah. I don't know if they're going to grid or what. I'm using a single pistol. I mean, it's not a bad pistol. Fassi had one for quite a while. But then again, you see, Kratz have got much better uh, pistol skill. And pistol buffs. So, there is that. So now, yes, we need to go back. Talk to Warden Staines. And just... Do the basic handing in. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Right, okay. We want to talk to Warden Staines first. Don't go running off to Old Athen when you haven't spoken to him. You just have to go back and do Warden Staines, dead prisoner again. And you feel such a frat for going the wrong way. And do you know how many times I've done that? Probably more times than I've made the mistake of um, going off and killing the actual prisoner and realising I'm not getting mission update because we've got the mission from the agency but not actually spoken to Warden Staines yet. I've done that a couple too many times as well. now seem to be having a race. 
Oh, missed. Again. Not to worry. Right, where are we? Here we go. Right, so we'll, in no particular order, let's cash these in. Hey, agency a receptionist. Mission complete. Thank you. Yeah, research at the moment. I'm just trying to get my first number 10 done. Okay, and senior. Can I have my reward now? Goodbye. How close does that put me? Pretty close. One inferno will easily get that done. And that's one off the list. Plan agency handler. Mission complete. There you go. I thought that's where it would be, just past the text. So, another mission and a bit of farming in Arid Rift, and we should be good there on that. That will get us to what AI level am I? 22. I need to get to 25 to get the next apotheosis level. And as I said before, and I've said on every occasion, and I will keep on saying because it's completely true, AI always takes the longest. But there you go. Okay, folks. Bye for now.